In today's video, we will talk about Shrub Tuesday, Pancake Tuesday, or Pancake Day. It's the day before Wednesday, the first day of Lent. Observed in many Christian countries to participating in confession and absolution. The ritual burning of the previous year's Holy Week palms, finalizing one's Lenten sacrifice, as well as eating pancakes and other sweets. Shrove Tuesday observed by many Christians, including Anglicans, Lutherans, Methodists, and Roman Catholics, who make a special point of self-examination, of considering what wrongs they need to repent, and what amendments of life or areas of spiritual growth they especially need to ask God's help in dealing with. This movable piece is determined by Easter. The expression Shrub Tuesday comes from the word shrine, meaning absolute. So, okay, so let's watch this video and learn about Shrub Tuesday. The Lord be with you. And with your Holy Spirit. God of tender mercy, you fashioned us from the dust of the earth and bid us follow your gospel call in the company of the church. Look on us with kindness as we prepare the ashes which will mark the beginning of our lengthened journey. Grant that we who make the desert pilgrimage might come to the font of rebirth with a renewed passion for justice. May our aim serve your people and bring us peace. May prayer sanctify all our needs. And may we come at last to the table you set in the place where you reign with Christ and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Is this the matter of fasting, I wish, of keeping a day of penance, that a man bow his head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This rather is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them, my sin is always before me. 
Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O seeing guilt, I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help with a spirit of fervor sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. By sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart you will not spur. In your goodness, show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever.